What's up you guys, it's Hosh for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace objects in Photoshop CS5 or CS5 Extended. So basically what we're going to do is change this image to this image. And this image is basically a cropping of this, so it's just this side. And so basically, if you didn't see, this is what we're going to do. We're going to move this person and a shadow to go over here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, how are we going to do it? Well, I'm going to show you. So what we want, what we want to do first is double-click the background layer to unlock it. And what you want to do is click, the, uh, click this tool by pressing W and do the quick selection tool. And you want to just drag around the guy's body. And FYI, while I'm doing this, you want to make sure the background is like just a solid image. You don't want a bunch of objects in it. You see, mine is just a just grass and leaves. It's not anything hard to deal with for Photoshop to render. And just keep doing this until you do the whole person. And it's just rough. It doesn't have to be exact. But as I said before, if you have a lot of images, then you really want it to be exact in order for it to for people to get the full effect of the image. Alrighty then, that looks good. So what we want to do here is grab this tool, the move tool by pressing V, and you want to basically kick, click, not kick, click this person, and you want to drag and drop them over here. And so now what you want to do is go to image, you want to go to edit, free transform, then you want to um, just um, sh shift them uh, horizontally. And after you do that, you want to drag them so it looks like the orange kid is pointing at them. I'm going to drag and drop them. Just right here is fine. Okay, that looks good. So you want to just press the check mark to let Photoshop know that. Oh, we're done. And just keep this guy selected. Don't do anything. Don't press Command D. Um, you want to um, keep him selected. You want to go to um, Select, Modify, Expand. I mean, not Expand. What am I saying? select modify feather or you can just do shift f6 and the feather radius let's just do three pixels okay so now we do command d and we deselect them so oh it looks like somebody's shoe was left out of here mommy and my shoe well that's not bad we can always just click this Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Do the move tool and move his shoe. You can see that his shoe is slightly moved. You want to go to um, image. Um, edit. I mean, sorry. Free transform. Or command T. And just inverse it. And there we go. Command, I mean, press check mark. Um, option to zoom in. And you want to just bring it back to where his foot was. I think this is about it. Command D to deselect. Okay, so there we go. And don't worry about this side right now. Just leave it how it is. And so now what we're gonna now what we are going to want to do is grab his shadow and put a shadow over there. Now this is the easily the hardest part of this whole uh, whatever we're doing because um, um, the shadow it's so much different from these shadows right here, and so um, this is gonna be very hard. So you're gonna really have to bear with me. What you wanna do is click the magic wand tool and select most of the shadow that you see. Believe it or not, this is my third time doing this uh, tutorial because the first time I did it, I guess my mom was on the computer and she accidentally turned the computer off so I lost the whole tutorial. And then the one I did 10 minutes ago, um, I, I forgot to click audio on screen flow so I didn't have that. and. If I seem a little aggravated, now you know why. So once you have the shadow selected, you um sorry, 
once you have the shadow selected you want to bring it back to where it was sorry you want to press command C um, then you want to click um, make a new layer then you want to do command V to paste it and you want to simply move this over to where the guy is you want to um, choose this box right here to select it or by pressing V I believe or sorry M and you want to go to edit free transform and you want to simply make it look like it's actually part of the guy's shadow and you could always use this as a use the other people's shadow as like a guide hold up Oops. sorry computer so you want to go to edit transform let's do perspective and it looks alright <laughs> Obviously, it's not the best shadow. Um, another option to do a shadow is something I'll show you right now, actually. So just delete this shadow we had right here. You want to go to layer 0 that we um, were working on before. Um, you want to click this uh, quick selection tool. You want to shift and just click, click his whole body again. This is another method. This is another method, not another method. <laughs> And once you once you have his body roughly selected, you want to press Command C, and then you want to go to Layer One. Then you want to do Command V, and let's just select and just select the guy. And what we're gonna want to do is go to Edit, Transform, and we're gonna want to go to we're gonna want to go to perspective you know before we do this go to edit you want to go to transform and you want to go to free transform okay so what you want to do now is just line him up um, with the guy like he's a shadow and use the other people as a guide and just leave it like that. You want to press check mark. Now you want to go to edit. You want to go to transform. Then you want to go to perspective. So now this is where the hard stuff comes in. Because the way Photoshop does it is really, there's like no method to it. It just, it's like just winging it, if you know what I mean. <sighs> so it's definitely harder than it looks. Okay, so once you have the body roughly selected, you want to go to um, image, image, adjustments, then you want to go to brightness forward slash contrast, and just bring the brightness all the way down, as down as you can. And then you want to bring the contrast up a little bit, yep, up a little bit. And what we're going to want to do is fill, not fill, sorry. Um, you can change the occupancy if you want for it to blend in with the the grass. But let's just change that after. We're gonna want image adjust. I mean auto, not auto color. Whoops. Image adjustments hue saturation. So for the hue saturation, what you want to do is um, just use the eyedropper tool and after you do that. You want to just um, make the person look like a shadow. So just keep messing with um, the person and the brightness and all that stuff. You could even use black and white if you want. Okay, so I'm digging it. I think it looks pretty good. That looks pretty real. I, I, I think I would buy it. Okay, so now you want to go to layer zero copy. You want to press E to do the eraser tool. Just press E on here. Uh, Mac or PC, whatever. Actually, layer one, sorry. And then you want to just erase all of the parts that the um, that the shadow is part of the guy in the orange's body. I will I will try to uh, give a URL a URL um, just for this image so that you can try this by yourself. 
And if you guys do try it, I would like to, I would just, I would like to see them and see what you guys came up with. That'd be pretty cool. I'm sure you guys would come up with some neat stuff. And so yeah, I like it. It looks pretty good. Alrighty then. So now that we have that selected like that, this is where the fun comes in. Let's say you see all this like little scrap that we were, that we have here due to all the stuff, all the minor stuff we were doing before. Let's just use let's use the quick selection tool. And just select all this and all that, all this little crap right here. Just select everything that you see. Anything that doesn't belong, just select it. All right, you don't want to select it that much. So just select a little bit of it, not a lot. Then all you do want, all you want to do is press is press Shift Delete. And now you want to do Use. You want to go to Content Aware. And press OK. Mount the mouse will turn into a little rolly disk. And now you see that we have the person all. Whoops. Well, let's try that again. Let's go to Select. Let's go to Modify, expand. Let's go to three pixels. Select, modify, expand. I didn't think I would have to do it again. Three pixels. That looks like it's doing everything. You wanna do, you wanna select the layer to copy as well, and then you wanna just do shift delete. Well, I guess you can't do that. You wanna go to layer zero. You wanna go shift delete. Press OK. Then now what you want to do is go to layer zero, copy, shift, delete, press OK. Then you want to go to layer one, then press shift, delete, press OK. And now with layer one, what we want to do is, let's just press, um, just select all this, then just press bit, delete. So now all you see is that. Now what you can do is use the clone stamp tool. It usually messes it up, but eh, just give it a shot. Just start cloning. Just, just, just start cloning and cloning and cloning. Let's make it, let's make the, let's make it a bigger size like that. Yeah, that's a great size. Just start cloning. Just clone away. Obviously, that looked ridiculous, but you know, you see the gist of it. And now, let's say you could put anything in here. You could put a soccer ball. You could put um, I don't know, whatever your creative minds come up with. And so now, just to end it all, what we're gonna do is crop it. And just crop it so all you see the boys. And then you want to press the check mark. And I don't know what this guy's doing. His arm is like, it looks weird. But yeah, now you see um, the shadow doesn't look exactly the same as the others. You can always change it, feather it out, do whatever you guys want to do. And so yeah, thanks for watching. This is the gist of a tutorial. If you want me to go more in depth with this and add just different objects so it looks like they're actually running after something, leave a comment below or email me tutorials for techies up here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, make sure to comment and rate so that um, I know what to do in my future videos. And of course, make sure to subscribe because I would love to get partner. That's just like. I would love, just love to get it. Um, yep, thanks for watching. This has been from Tutorials for Techies, and peace.